Hi guys, I'm Noman. I've just thought to make a vlog and this is my first vlog. It's 7.30 a.m. I'll just pretend that anybody gives a damn. So one day when I'll be old, I can look back at my videos. For example, this video that how were those days when I was a junior doctor or when I was a GP trainee. So I've just started my training. I'm an ST1 and I'm going to work. I prefer walking to work. So it keeps me a little bit active and it's good for health, of course. But so far I'm enjoying the work. There's kind of a mixed feeling. So GP itself is very different from hospital medicine. Things I hated about hospital was the bleep and the nights. It's not healthy. You have to be a shift worker at hospital, but it's not healthy. That's what I believe. One of the reasons coming to GP was I won't have that acute anxiety of getting a bleep, you know, having alternate nights and messing up my sleep. What I've realized is that it's a bloody hard work, man. It's not just cuffs and cold. It's not nine to five job. It's really a hard work. GP is like mother to the community. If anything happens, you go to your GP. There's no one you can see at your first point of care. There's a lot of GP bash and a lot of people hate their GPs. Take it this way. It's like there's a mother who has got million of babies and who has got not enough support. So what will happen? She can't cope and she won't be able to take care of her children. So that's the scenario here. There's an extreme shortage of GPs, but like I said, it's a very hard work, but at the same time, it's a privilege to be at that position, to look after your community and always privileges and responsibilities, they go along. Another best thing, you're very privileged. The way I see is that most GPs, they plan their work around their life rather than planning their life around their work. It's an amazing career which gives you that much flexibility. A lot of GPs, they are just locums. They just work whenever they want. I've seen GPs, they just work a couple of months a year and do something totally different uh, for the rest of the year and it's amazing. So what's the difference between a GP and someone who is doing hospital medicine? So I was actually reading a lot about it and something that really clicked me is that if you want to see the same patient with different problems, become a GP. And if you want to see different patients with the same problem, become a hospital doctor or become a specialist. A normal GP sees 32 patients a day. So 16 patients in the morning, 16 patients in the afternoon. And every 10 to 15 minutes, you are making a decision. So for some people, it can be very stimulating because it's different from the hospital that in hospital, you have to do a lot of service providing job, like taking bloods and stuff like that. That's actually not stimulating you clinically. In GP, you have to make a decision every 10 to 15 minutes, and that can be very stimulating for some people and for some people it can be exhausting. So the full-time work as a trainee is three days a week. So three full days. So the three days are actually long days. So you can do either four days or three days. So if you do four days, you do nine to five. And if you do three days, you can do 8.30 till 6.30. I opted for 8.30 to 6.30. And then I get four days off. Out of those four days, one is the study day, which normally I can log in from my home and I can just attend that. So yeah, I'm just walking. I'll remember, I'll remember these days.